Hello and welcome to my Tuesday. I'm off to the park in a minute. I'm gonna go and do my Portuguese session earlier on in the day and get back. I'm quite fired up for it actually. I've been playing on my laptop upstairs the Learn at Home series that they made in Portugal during the lockdowns when everyone was having to do home learning. Now, here's the thing, I think they had it right because over here it all went online so children had to have access to the internet and a device to access the internet in order to do their school and not all families have or they're all sharing one laptop between the whole family. I've met people who were relatively young in their 20s that don't know how to use a computer. Not everybody is computer literate but anyway in Portugal they stuck it all on the TV. The TV, everybody's got a TV and if they haven't got a TV it's much cheaper and easier to get access to a TV than a laptop or an iPad, for instance. I need to make sure I take a mask with me because I need to pop to a shop on the way back. Oh, there we go, that'll do. Because I need to get some nail varnish remover. I just assumed we had the whole bottle in the house that I'd had for years, but I went looking for it and I asked Isabella if she'd seen it. She said, oh, we ran out of that ages ago. <laughs> She didn't tell me, so anyway. I've just been layering more on ever since I started to do my nails again. I'm going for the very short painted look, which I know is a bit extraordinary and unusual because everyone else has big long nails, but I don't like having big long nails. I find it debilitating. I don't know how anybody can cope with them, but I'm sure lots of you watching do have big long nails. How do you do things? I've walked to the park, worked up a right sweat and a thirst, parked up on this bench here. I've got a can of pop. And I'm looking at a duck pond. Anyway, time to get my phone out and get on Quizlet for 20 minutes or so. I'd like to spend longer, honestly, but I'm trying to, you know, be sensible about how much time I spend on it. And cold can of pop out of the fridge time. Yes, I know it's bad for me. Uh, anyway, it's the it's the lime. <laughs> Pepsi Max, I rather like it. Uh, the type E ones I quite often spell wrong, but I think that would sound the same. I'm not going to say I was correct though, because you can do the I was correct option if you feel you're close enough. Gets you to type it in then if you've spelt it wrong or just keyed it in wrong. I've popped into Wilco for my few bits and look, it's gone all Christmassy. Can you help with anything or you okay? No, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. I suspect Izzy would very much like that owl ornament there that they have on this white tree. <laughs> We've got a nice range of advent calendars in. Look, they've got Thornton's ones. These are our favourite, actually. But Izzy said she really liked the Kinder ones. I'm going to get her one. Oh, oh, mind you, there's a super fancy one over there. I wonder if that's more expensive. Ooh. I've just asked the assistant, they're £7, so I might give that one a miss. But I'll get her the £3 one. I think she'll be delighted when she comes home and sees that propped up on the mantelpiece. Which one shall I have? I do like Milky Bar. Oh, oh, decisions, decisions. I've made my decision. I'm having that one. Decided to grab some more of that Oral-B toothpaste on in here and it's on half price. It's £2.50. Special enamel repair. Well, go on then. I don't think I normally get the really fancy one, but I will on this occasion. Found some nail polish remover. I'm taking a risk because I don't know how much it is. The others are two pound. Uh, I'm gonna pop that in. We'll see you later, won't we? Tissues, 65p a box. Gonna get a couple of those. And do you know what? This might seem a slightly odd thing, but I'm gonna go for a box of these as well for my room because it's a silly reason, but if I turn it upside down, I can put the camera on it and it's just the right height for where I'm sitting at my desk. Need toilet roll, that's the last thing I need. Looks down from 5.50 to four pound. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's gonna get wet in the rain. I'm back and I am so, so hungry. I came over all wobbly in the shop just now. So luckily I had some leftover food from last night. So I'm just reheating that. Which is my lentil curry with no rice because the rice all got eaten. But I'm, if I'm hungry afterwards, I'll eat some ready sorted crisps or something. I know when my band rehearsal is this week now and I know when I'm filing this week and it's not today. And I didn't know this yesterday, but I do now. So I'm feeling a bit more um, settled and 
centered. I do like to know what days I'm doing things on, I must say. I managed to get that home without getting it wet, which was good. I'm just digging the receipt out for you to look at how much that nail varnish was. Oh, it was one pound, good. Right, this is an annual thing. This is the placing of the advent calendars for me and Izzy on the mantelpiece. Well, it used to be on the window still in our old place, but it's, it's been on the mantelpiece here. Right, there's mine. Oops, and here's Izzy's. And uh, I always try to get them early so we can gaze at them during the month of November because it helps Izzy get excited for Christmas. Not that she needs any help at all by the way. There's that, lentil curry. I've had lunch whilst watching a vlog and another Portuguese programme for very little kiddies. Well, some of it. I also put the dishwasher on, put my shopping away. Put my drizzled on umbrella out to dry. And now I'm just making myself a cup of tea to take upstairs with me. I'm gonna have another crack at that survey because they've sent me another link. It didn't work yesterday. Hopefully it works today. Should only take 15 minutes. Then I am going to practice. And hopefully don't have a stomach ache this time. <laughs> survey is working today. Hmm. It's asking about climate change and my feelings towards it. Well, hmm. <laughs> I don't know quite how to answer these questions. Hmm. And that is done and my dinner really hasn't gone down so I'm going to do another thing now that I've been meaning to do for months and months and months which is finally make up the rest of Izzy's singing demo videos that she recorded months and months and months ago so I've got them all in a project folder I've got Ivy's mix of the audio and my videos I've just got to match them up and get them in sync and they should be done so hopefully it won't be a big job so I'm going to do that right now because if I try and play the flute now I'm just going to be burping all the way through Hey, there she is. I know she won't mind me sharing this because she doesn't mind if it's performance related or singing related. It's just her personal stuff she wants to keep off the internet these days, which is fair enough. So I found the video ones I did. So with this, she's got the backing track in her ears. I think I can play a bit because it's rap and I don't think it'll get picked up by copyright. Wake up, yeah, make up, maybe I need you. Now I've been good lately, growing up, uh, working. Busy. You ain't with my life if you only love to hate me Love, 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 love How you love to hate me Love, 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 love. You ain't with my love if you only love to hate me So that what you heard there was just the audio from the camera mic She actually had two mics on the go on the day But that's, that's the road wireless It just didn't, didn't come out very well It had a buzz on it And I have no idea why Because it never had a buzz for me when I used it with my cameras but we didn't use that one, uh, we just used IB's fancy studio mic instead. So somewhere on my hard drive, I'm going to have a rummage around for it now, hopefully I labelled it really clearly. <laughs> hopefully past me was kind to future me and made it easy for me to find in a minute. Um, yeah, so he has mixed in the backing track, which of course is completely copyright, with the vocals going in there and uh, got a good balance. Oh, and also she's done three takes of this one, but there's only one audio recording sent to me, so I've got to match up which one it was. I mean, probably they'll all fit, to be honest, but ideally I want the exact right one. I'm just running a search on my computer under Izzy Audio. Do you ever find this? Sometimes if you put things off, you just find it really hard to start them, and the longer you put them off, you find it harder and harder to start it, and I don't know why. It's just taking that first step of getting into it. If it's a non-habit thing, I mean, I find it very easy to do things that are part of my regular routine. Oh, I'm going to have to have a good old rummage, and I? They're probably on an email as attachments anyway. I can't find it anywhere. I'm going to have to ask IB to send it again. Um, but I have found Isabel singing in 2008. It's only an audio clip, so she was about a month and a half away from her third birthday. So she's two, right? And she's playing a, a bongy piano thing. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I've had to give up on my search 
and ask IB if he could resend them. Hopefully he still has them. Oh, what a nightmare. I mean, it's not a bad recording on the mic of the camera, so if I could just get her backing track, I can probably merge them. But he went to great trouble to get those audio files, so hopefully he still has them. You know, he processed the audio and everything and made it sound nice. Speak of the devil, he's dinged. Oh, he's sending it now by WeTransfer. Oh, what a nice boyfriend. I'm fired up to practice my flute now though, so I'm gonna go and do that now before my mood for that fizzles out. Why is it when you've got something you actually have to do, doing other things suddenly just seems more appealing. So I'm trying to go through all the tunes that me and IB were learning in lockdown together to just pick out the most accessible and graspable, upbeat, fun ones to do in the pub gigs. But what I'm actually sidetracked doing is playing this jazz piece that I downloaded off the internet the other day. One thing I like about practicing is you see real noticeable tangible improvements in your ability to do things every day as it progresses on. Yeah, it's great. Makes you feel good about yourself. Mm. I'm playing this much better than I was the other day when I was just reading it through and trying to get my head around all the accidental notes. I've said accidental notes just like that, but actually probably the vast majority of you who are not musically trained probably think that an accidental note is something you play by accident. No, you do play them on purpose, but they deviate from the key of the piece, so they have a little symbol in front of them like that. It's an hour later. I have three new tune sets to present to the band for rehearsing to see if they like it or not. This has taken me up to 10 to 5. And I do believe that my boyfriend has sent me those audio files for Izzy's demos, so I'm going to go and try and do at least one of those now while I am still in the mood to do it. I'm having a bad evening. <laughs> I've come on with another blipping urine infection. Again, in spite of taking so much D-manos, so that hasn't worked. I'm cold, I've just taken my temperature. It's 34.9, apparently below 35 is hypothermia. That worked. Oh, I've warmed up. Yay, I'm not dead after all, 36.3. Yay. Well, I was very cold just a moment ago. Ah. Uh got a stomach ache again so I haven't finished editing yet but I thought I'd come and say hello to you anyway I've given up I just I thought I know I'll just lie on my bed and watch some videos until I feel a bit better I've had a paracetamol I've had to start my emergency supply of antibiotics for urine infections which I hate <sighs> wanted to flush it through I've been trying to all day I mean I knew it was niggling from this morning I didn't want to go on about it on the vlog but it's reached new heights. So about two hours ago, I think I started that. Something like that, maybe an hour and a half, I don't know. I'm waiting to feel better and I'm not yet. Uh, paracetamol hasn't done much. It seemed to initially dull it down to a dull roar, but it came flaring back up again. So anyway, yeah. Um, I've got plans for tomorrow and the day after. Hopefully I'm feeling better in the morning after the antibiotics are working. If I don't get a vlog up tomorrow, don't worry. I'm probably fine. It's just I've got a very busy day if my plans go ahead as they are supposed to be going ahead and so I probably won't get time to get the vlog up but anyway it's been nice chatting to you <laughs> if you did like this video sorry about the anticlimactic end uh, please give it a like it really helps the channel to grow I really appreciate that and if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story I'm not normally a honest honest <laughs> feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one bye